Hey guys, good morning, and I think it's Wednesday. Yeah, it's almost the end of the year. It's amazing. Um, I'm gonna talk to you while I do my hair because uh, I had this idea and I wanted to talk about it, but I still need to get ready for the day. So I'm just gonna multitask. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I don't post this. Anyways, um, so what's on, I feel like not just my mind, but everybody's mind, once Christmas is over and like all the holiday festivities have been done, right? Like we're kind of in this weird hang time in between Christmas and New Year's, right? And uh, I feel like at this time, it's not like, it's, it's not like, oh man, I only have a few days left of 2023. I'm going to do as much of the things that I can do as possible. Like, I feel personally that the, the vibe that's usually put out at the end of the year, especially this time right now, um, is like people are recovering from the holidays. Um, and people probably like drank a little bit more than they thought they were going to, or ate a little bit more than they wanted to. And they see these, these days as like a time in between, like purgatory almost, right? Of, okay, well, I definitely don't want to eat like this next year. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna finish out this year. I'm just gonna keep eating the way that I was. I'm just gonna, you know, uh, plan to drink water and exercise and all that stuff. And once the new year hits, that is when I'm gonna do all these things, right? Um, and, it, and it sucks because like a lot of the gyms, like I am a, a gym owner myself, right? A lot of the gyms will be closed until January 2nd. So like, even if you were super motivated to, to start your transformation now, uh, you can't cause the gym's closed. Luckily the, like my gym, which is like mostly a personal trainer studio is still open. Um, I've got a, a gym that I fight out of that's still open, which is awesome. But uh, it's, it's super interesting. Like once we get to the end of the year, people almost feel like they've, they've given up. Right. So what am I, what am I getting at with this? Right. <clears throat> so what I'm getting at is I'm going to help people set their intentions for what they want next year. And in doing that, you're way more likely to actually achieve it. If you know where you're going, uh, you don't need to know how you're going to get there, but like you at least have a destination in mind. So with that being said, um, we're going to be starting a 30 day challenge starting on January 2nd, since that's when all the gyms open. I feel like it would be unfair to have somebody, uh, not have access to a gym when we're doing, uh, fitness mindset and, um, pretty much like soul alignment challenge, right? So the first thing that we're going to talk about is setting your intention. And how do you set your intention? You set your intention by figuring out what you want. That's the problem. A lot of people don't know what they want, right? It's like being asked when you're hungry, like, what do you want to eat? You're like, uh, I could have anything in the world right now. What could you eat? Uh, there's too many choices, right? Uh, and that's, that's pretty much how a lot of people live their lives is they don't know what they want. And so they never make a decision and all of a sudden, your life is over or that window of time has passed. And I meet so many people that are like, oh, I was a really awesome athlete. If I was younger, if I could go back and do it again, I would do it differently. It's like, wait, why don't you just do it differently now? Like, you're, you're not dead. Like, <laughs> who's to say, like, even if reincarnation was true, who's to say that you would be in that, in a better scenario, in a better position to remember to, you know, I don't know, go to the gym when you were younger in your next lifetime, right? But uh, anyways, we're gonna talk about how to set intentions. And in doing that, like figuring out how to set an intention, the best way is, <laughs> Amanda, I have no idea how to set an intention. Good. <laughs> so what don't you do? We're gonna do this right now, right? And then you're gonna join me for the 30 day challenge. So write down, not what you want, but write down your biggest fear. And that is going to help like a thousand percent have you figure out 
what you want in life, right? So for example, a lot of times biggest fears are being alone, feeling unloved, um, not having community, not having self-worth, right? All these things are really common, big fears that people have. Um, and that's a really great place to start. So once you find what that big fear is, we can kind of branch off of that of like, okay, because of this, you, you know, you have a, a overwhelming fear of being alone. Okay, where can we go with that? So, okay, we're going to focus on networking. What are your interests? Oh, I really like reading or I really like knitting or fighting, right? Like any of these things, right? And from there, it's just going to be like dominoes of, okay, uh, so in order to not be alone, I need a network and I'm going to network in these groups. And then we just make a plan of, okay, we're going to meet with these groups or I'm going to reach out to X amount of groups uh, per week and plan to meet up with some of them, right? Like I'm, I'm super family oriented. Like I've got my kids and I really don't like getting a bo babysitter if I don't need to. So what I focus on is like, I love fighting. I love fitness and I love my kids, right? Not in that order, obviously. <laughs> um, but anything that I do like fighting or fitness wise, I try to incorporate my children, which is why I own my own fitness studio, which has childcare in it anyways. Right. Um, but just like being able to align what your greatest fear is, which is literally the opposite of your greatest desire, right? Like greatest fear, fear of being alone. Greatest desire is to not feel alone, right? <laughs> so it's like, you know, yin, yin, yang. But start off with that. And then uh, our, our 90 or our 90, our 30 day challenge is going to start on January 2nd. And this is just going to be like a little workshop. It's $30. So like literally a dollar a day to completely revolutionize your life. I think that's definitely worth it. Um, but we'll we'll go over, that was just one facet, right? Uh, we're gonna go over a whole bunch of different areas, uh, just make sure that we hit all six areas of alignment and then make sure that we have a plan for 2024. All right, that's it. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you guys later. Bye.